Welcome to the Big Road Training Series. Today I'm going to be demonstrating some important first steps to complete while getting started with the Big Road Admin Console or web app. This will be a very high level, quick overview, so be sure to visit bigroad.com for more in-depth training materials. Now the initial setup of Big Road can really be boiled down to four key steps. Configuring your fleet settings, adding your vehicles to the fleet, inviting your users to the fleet, and tracking your progress using our ELD readiness report. To begin, navigate to app.bigroad.com in your internet browser. Enter your email address and password to sign in. If you're not sure what your login credentials are, you should have recently received a welcome email from us with that information. Step one, configure your fleet settings. To do this, navigate to the fleet tab. This will open your fleet settings page by default, so just click edit here at the top right hand corner of the page. Now your carrier name, DOT number, and headquarters address will all be displayed on your driver's logs exactly as they appear here, so make sure that you enter this information correctly. If you're running ELD, it's crucial that you input your DOT number and enable ELD compliance for the fleet. To enable ELD compliance, scroll to the bottom of the page and check the box next to allow ELD equipped vehicles. This will allow you to add ELD equipped trucks to your fleet. It doesn't automatically make each truck an ELD truck. You'll make that distinction on a truck by truck basis. When you check this box, you'll see a little dialog pop up letting you know that we're also going to enable carrier edit driver approval and unidentified driving for your trucks across the entire fleet as these are required for ELD compliance. So click yes to continue and select update fleet at the bottom of the page to save your settings here. Step two, add your vehicles. To do this, navigate to your fleet tab and select trucks from the left hand menu. Now select add truck. Input the truck number, license plate number, and VIN. Select your odometer units, and then select your log type. The log type setting is really important because this distinguishes the engine connected status of your truck. Electronic log means that there's no engine connected device installed in that truck. So when a driver signs in and selects that truck, their mobile device will not expect a dash link connection, so it won't pair up with a dash link or record drive time from the engine. You want to reserve this log type for vehicles that will not be using dash link, like ELD exempt vehicles, for example. For vehicles with dash link devices installed, the log type must be set to AOBRD or ELD. We'll set this truck up as an ELD truck. Next, Distinguish how the dash link in this vehicle will pair up with the driver's mobile device. You can set this to either VIN or device ID. Whichever option you choose must have the corresponding box filled out. We typically recommend pairing by device ID because the process tends to be a little bit quicker that way. The device ID is just the serial number of the dash link that's installed in that truck. You can get this right off the dash link box. The format looks just like this. When running ELD, unidentified driving will automatically be enabled for every truck in the fleet. If you're running AOBRD, the setting can be toggled on and off for each truck. When you're finished, select Add Truck, and then repeat this for each vehicle in your fleet. Step 3. Invite your users. To do this, navigate to the Fleet tab and select Users from the left-hand menu. Select Invite User to add a fleet member. And first, input an email address for this person. Select Next. Input their first and last name. You can input a company ID if you like, but it's not mandatory. Do make sure that you assign at least one role to this user and select Next. You can customize your email invitation with a short message if you like. And then select Invite Using Email. This will trigger a welcome email that will be sent to the email address listed for this user. It'll say something along the lines of, Hi, welcome to Big Road. So-and-so has invited you to such and such fleet. If this person has never used Big Road before, the email will also include a password, which will be displayed for you here on the screen, and instructions for downloading the Big Road mobile app. 
Now select Done, or select Invite Another User to repeat this process for each of your users. Now if your fleet is running ELD, it's also crucial that you set up each driver's profile with their driver's license information, because this info goes right on the driver's logs. To do this, select Edit next to each driver's name in your list of current users, and input their license number and state or province of issue. Additionally, if this driver operates under a different DOT number than the one set up for your fleet, you can override the fleet DOT number for this user here with the US DOT override box. Select Save at the bottom of your page to save your changes. And step four, track your progress with the ELD readiness report. It may seem like a lot of steps to complete and record keeping to keep straight in your head, especially if your fleet is rather large, so we suggest using our ELD readiness report to track your progress. To access the report, navigate to your fleet tab, and then select ELD readiness report on the left hand side of the page. This report will scan your trucks and your drivers in your fleet tab, and any missing information or uncompleted steps required for ELD compliance will be listed here. Now this should give you a good start with the Big Road system. After completing these steps, you'll be ready to start installing your Dashlink units and start your drivers on the Big Road app. Be sure to send your drivers a copy of our Getting Started tutorial video and PDF guide for the Big Road mobile app. And, as I mentioned earlier, check out our numerous training resources online at bigroad.com. We've got a lot of great materials like how-to guides, tutorial videos, and free public training sessions that we run once a week. Between all of these resources, you should be feeling confident with the system in no time. Thanks for watching.